Marcello Rapano still holding off in second, trying to hold off Alexandra Fern, but look at that battle. It's now Brandon Michael will now move on to the fourth spot. Debeck goes around. Tyler Trott goes spinning. But it's all going to be over when they get off turn number four. Here's the double checkers. And it is the number 29 to take down the win for Trace Byer. Doesn't get better in this. Feels so good. After getting wrecked in the heat race, we had to replace a front end part. But uh, nothing stopping this machine. Two in a row. Can't believe I've done this. Gotta thank my guys for getting the car back together for me. My dad, Joe, my Aunt Shirley. My brothers are here, my sister's here. It's just a great night. White flag is out. This is the lap that counts the most, and it really counts from second all the way back to the bottom of the top five. They bump and they grind off the turn. Provost in a zone of his own. The Saunders twins want bragging rights at dinner. Who's going to get it, Matt? Here comes Paul Arute again, the Supreme Industries car. But Dwayne Provost has done it. He'll take down the win and unofficially move to the front in the point standings. Well, I mean, uh, it's been a, a trying couple of weeks. Uh, I made a lot of changes. A couple weeks ago, I, I came here tonight. Uh, car was still not handling. Could not figure it out. Found out about 20 minutes before the race. Um, I actually had a, a, a ball joint that bad. I didn't have a time to change it. And I actually kind of hemmed and hawed about uh, pulling it in the back. And um, and I'm, I'm so glad I didn't. Uh, this is this is uh, not where I expected to be tonight. I figured I'd be um, fishing around out back because the car is just not been handling good. So uh, I'm glad I, I was I just really surprised I was I'm even here. I did not, did not anticipate this at all. He is in the top five. Here comes David Aru, the last event charge, bottom shot move. Who's going to be on the podium in the third spot? David Aru keeps digging in. Joey Farino gone at the front of the field. Joe Graff on the top side. Caruso waiting for the curtain call. Final lap, final turn. They come to the stripe. And timing and scoring shows that Joey Farino will take down the victory. I mean, I got to thank Jeff Pearl for that. I mean, uh, he put a ton of work into this transmission over the winter. This thing is unbeatable on restarts. I, I mean, it. Thanks, Jeff. You're up there somewhere. Um, you know, I just got to thank all my guys for this. It's been a long time coming. I think we've had five or six second places this year. You know, I mean, uh, we even rolled the car in a victory lane one night and ended up being second after the photo finish. But the white flag's given to the rest of the field. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Ray is in a zone of his own down the back straightaway deep into turn number three. Off the turn, Michael Ray hits his big payday here at Stafford as he will take down the win in the late model division. Man, I, we took it up to Jay Stewart over the off week. Man's a genius. He got one, two here. Dave Miller from Auto Machine saying big power. Um, starting fourth, I was worried. I was sitting back on a trailer just trying to be calm. And uh, he came out there, the hole opened up for me. And I can't believe it. It's nuts. Ted Christopher, one lap away from his 103rd SK Modified win. He runs on the tire track, sees a little daylight to the bottom. Christopher guards the spot. Here comes Pennick on the outside. Remember, Pennick got roughed up by Christopher. Will he do repay the favor down out of turn number three into four? Everybody on their feet, and it will be TC, Ted Christopher, victorious. Yeah, you know, we're both fighting for the point lead here, and, uh, you know, we keep going back and forth, him leaning, me leaning back and forth, but, uh, it's the money tonight. I need the money. We have to, you know, Doug's car got wrecked at Waterford last week. We put, you know, we fixed that everything at my shop and we came back and won there. And then we fixed this car too after getting wrecked at Waterford. And, uh, you know, both cars were pretty well damaged and both of them came back with wins. So I'm really proud of my crew that worked so hard in the past couple weeks to get stuff going. And thanks uh, Doug Don Levy for support of the, of the modified racing and everything. And thanks staff for putting up this money in Napa. 